YouTube. Let's um, do a video today on the acids for silver and gold testing. Okay, you know you may have uh, you might have seen stuff like this on TV, and you might be a little unsure um, about what it's about. <clears throat> but it's acid is really important when you test silver and gold. You can have something that looks good. And when you acid test it, you might find it's not. It might look like it's gold. Um, when you acid test it, you might find it's not. I believe this is gold plated silver. <clears throat> but, so this video let's do about acid testing. And basically, the way, you know, you, what you want to do is you need to understand that it might be gold plated, okay? Um, and so you want to go ahead and scratch hard and you want to, if there is gold plating there, you want to wear the gold plating away and you want to like kind of start out one area and just kind of keep working, you know, down, right? So, and you want to do it while scratching hard. If you have a little chain like this, it might be kind of hard. You might need to get like a bunch, like kind of like this, and maybe put it over your finger or something and then try to like, you know, like, you know, do it. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and acid test this. I got this for about a dollar, a little over, maybe a dollar six, a dollar seven. I was buying some other stuff and um, they let it go for about a dollar, maybe tax too, whatever. Anyways, let's, um, you know, if it's, um, if this is 10 carat, I should be able to do a scratch right here, right? I should put 10 carat acid on it and the 10 carat acid should not eat it up okay so now <clears throat> what if it's higher than 10 carat so what we want to do is we want to put 14 carat on it as well and try to not let the acids mix okay so no i might have to redo that it looks like they're gonna mix oh no no oh okay redo <laughs> all right let's do that again so here we go Come in, like so, and let's take the 10 carat, and like that, and then let's go ahead and take the 14, and hopefully we can do it without the mixing, and let's see if the 14 carat, now it looks like the 14 carat is, um, it's, it's harsher on it already, see this, the 10 carat is more you can see the gold more and it looks like it's kind of eating it up. Now, let's go ahead and take and do another scratch on it. And this time, um, let's go ahead and let's put the 18 carat on it and see what happens. It looks like the 14 carat is pretty much eating it away. So, um, do the 18 carat on it. And wow, look at that, bam, okay. You might see little blue specks. There might have been stuff from um, remnants of silver or something on there. Let's do it again in another spot. So, or something or wipe it. Um, okay. Um, just so you know, 18 karat is a excellent tester to test for silver. So, let's go ahead and do this. And when when you do 18 karat for silver, it should test blue. There's a bubble. Don't get confused, guys. Okay. So yeah, it looks like it ate up quickly. Now, so let's compare the this. So right here we have the 10, right? There's the 14. You can, yeah, pretty much ate it up, right? Hopefully I can shield the light. See, 10 looks good. It kind of pretty much ate up. So it looks like that that piece, that this is at least 10 karat gold. Okay. So. Now, what about the chain? Because one way to tell if it's gold is to look at the clasp, and if it's missing the clasp, you know. So this is like acid is really important to come in and test to see if stuff is really gold or not. What is underneath the surface? So let's go ahead and see how I have it on my finger, like so. Let's go ahead and just go like, um, might need to do it a different way here. Um, all right, fell off. Kind of wad it up. All right. Hang in there with me. Okay. So, let's do the 10 carat. I'll 
up at the top, as you can see. And let's do about 14 carat. So, see what happens. And then let's go to another piece and try the 18. All right, 18 carat. Um, bam, demolished it. Okay, so what it's kind of looking like is the chain might be 14 carat because you can see right here, here's the 10, there's the uh, with that 14, and over here is 18, and it just like um, is holding the, the the 18 just demolished it. Let's just go ahead another time and take the 14. Okay, so awesome. So anyways guys, um, acid testing is really important. It's not that complicated. Um, you know, I'm not really wearing safety goggles and I probably should. I, it would be a wise thing to do. And um, I would recommend that you should probably wear gloves and safety goggles even though I'm not. But anyways, um, if, you, if you really need to know what it is, you really need to test it. And so if you guys have any questions about the acids and how to use them, please put them in the comments. And if you know of another way to do it, please put it in the comment and other people can learn from you. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And have a good day.